But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost hath never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation, because they said he hath an unclean spirit. Okay, now this idea of eternal damnation, you got to understand that. There's things called belief systems. And your belief system determines how you view the world. Okay? And if you live a life that is grossly out of harmony with nature, okay, we could call that, you know, we're blaspheming. We could say that in, in that way. But what happens then is what gets created is the notion of good and evil in a dualistic sense. And the ultimate notion that gets created around that is eternal damnation. So it becomes a belief system that correlates to uh, uh, a dualistic, uh, simplistic, limited, narrow view of life. And so when you go there, when you enter that state, when that state overtakes you, your belief system is you have been eternally damned. You have been eternally uh, condemned due to all your sins and everything. Now, the truth of this quote is that that is your belief system. That's the world you enter. That's how you function. From that place, you are convinced and you're, you're totally sure that you have been eternally damned. And so there's, it's true, that's a world of eternal damnation there, you see. But it doesn't mean that you can't eventually, in fact, not can't, eventually you will be freed of that. You will ultimately f move beyond that belief system that, that is adhered to the notion of eternal damnation and awaken to your true nature. And that I can guarantee you. Why? Because... It's the nature of life. It's the nature of existence. There's this unified field that birthed all of creation. We can get into that in the manifestation of the universe. And then everything gravitates back to it. So it's just like water. I don't care where the water is, when it rains, if it's stuck in some pool at the top of some mountain, 20,000 feet above sea level. Sooner or later, just by virtue of gravity, it will make its way back to the ocean. You see? So in that regard, in one regard then, yeah, eternal damnation, now you get what it means. But in another regard, it's not true. You know, it's, it's just a misunderstanding of what eternal damnation means. So don't worry, everybody's fine, it's all going to work out, and sooner or later you will awaken to your own true, divine, exquisite, profound nature, nothing you can do about it.